hey guys welcome so today i'm going to talk about this very sad story about kathleen moore a 34 black woman that was killed by colin scott knapp her 30 year old boyfriend and apparently she has been missing for a few days friends are looking for her and they haven't found her but they do took her life i am not a support guys of domestic violence of people losing their lives because of a very bad um, relationship but let me play this clip so you can get the idea of what this fox news about. alert pasco county it is not the ending her friends and family had hoped for, but Kathleen Moore has been found. The missing woman's body has been found in the woods near her boyfriend's home, and he has been arrested for her murder. As Fox 13's Aaron Mesmer reports tonight, while detectives piece together how it happened, Kathleen's grieving loved ones want to know why. Mr. Knapp, you had a, a warrant that was issued for you for murder in the second degree. Colin Knapp had little to say as he stood before a judge accused of killing his girlfriend, Kathleen Moore. Late Tuesday morning, the search for Kathleen came to a sad end. Sheriff Chris Nako says her body was discovered in a wooded area near Knapp's home on Carmel Avenue in Newport Ritchie. She was about 50 yards northeast of Colin Knapp's home. And so it was a very heavily brush area. Sheriff Nako says hours before Moore disappeared on November 29th, she and Knapp had been arguing while they were out with friends. The sheriff says they got into another fight when they went back to Knapp's house. Moore hadn't been seen since then. On Monday, deputies charged Knapp with second-degree murder after they say they found clothes with Moore's blood that he'd thrown into a dumpster at work. Make it easier on the family. Answer their questions. You know, answer the why. Because... We have the evidence. We have Kathleen now. As deputies were back searching for clues at Knapp's home Tuesday, friends who considered Kathleen family came by to pay their respects. We're just going to keep her memory alive. I mean, both of our kids no. look at her as an aunt, you know, like our kids are upset about it. We're just going to keep her alive. In Pasco County, Aaron Mesmer, Fox 13 News. We've also learned tonight Knapp has been arrested 19 previous times. Charges have included aggravated assault and also domestic violence. He's wow, currently so he's going away for a what? No emotions whatsoever? Call it uh, 30 plus years. And with that said, I will launch with a few insights I gather from this. One of them is this. If you juxtapose his story with the former NFL player Zach Stacey beating of his ex-girlfriend, you will realize that it hasn't reach the level of publicity he hasn't reached um nap hasn't re hasn't gotten the backlash it hasn't reached tmz that zach stacy got and here you have someone who has committed a more horrendous act zach stacy was seen as a total moron bozo monster a beater he got a backlash but what do you get here nothing nada crickets not much you know what i'm saying i mean colin napier is equivalent in the black community as a typical poke and raving <laughs> you know it's crazy crazy ain't it and you know love has no bounds love doesn't care about the boundaries the geography of boundaries your ethnicity skin color age or whatever love will break that but you know this sister here was dating a white guy now, I'm saying this to say, black men, whenever we date outside the race, black women will create an upper like, what's happened? What, what's wrong with the sisters? Don't you like us? So, where's upper about that too? I don't hear anything so far. This article, this story happened like four days ago, I believe. So, you know, I'm curious to see what would happen about, you know, Will people, content creators, and media make a big story of this? Because as a black guy, we just get hit left and right. Okay? I speak for all men, but specifically for black, left and right, if we abuse, we neglect our families, this, that, and the nine yards. Huh? It's funny, ain't it? And if you go further, one of the things I realize if you read the story and listen is that nap was an on again off again boyfriend you see whenever you hear of a on again off again relationship from my perspective it's a fluid it's a very tenuous it's usually 
very or a lot of arguments a lot of conflicts essentially you can boil it down boil it down to it being very toxic i mean colin knapp has a rap sheet he has some level of domestic record to him so didn't she know this and i i it's it's fair to say that she has been experiencing some level of abuse again another hallmark of a toxic relationship maybe she is toxic herself maybe Colin Knapp is toxic or you know one or the other but in this case it shouldn't have reached this level I can tell you typically people that stay in toxic relationship they just suffer from toxic because of um, um, issues like they're free to be alone they believe that this partner, the current partner, he, there's no other connections, you know, they can't help themselves. They're hiding away from something and they need this person as a constant refuge. And I see women and even and men and women, you know, if you know that you're toxic, step away. If you know that you're not toxic, but you're in a relationship, remove yourself, especially men. Okay? remove yourself because the law is not on your side okay compared to women it's not on your side i mean let's look at an example here you have lamar odem recently he, he penned this instagram letter right he says um to his exes and the former nba player is celebrating as he cleared himself free from drug and porn addictions after leaving a toxic and abusive relationship he goes on to say, a year ago yesterday, I left my ex fiance at the W Hotel in Atlanta without notice. When she realized I was gone back to my home in San Diego, she was livid. I received over 250 calls and text messages over the course of last December from her wanting to fix us. We were toxic independently and collectively. This is something I like. He said, independently and collectively. Okay? He took accountability for his part in this issue because he was toxic which was based on some you know his addiction something in his life he had to fix okay he got candid about his issues the dysfunction in me was addicted to the abuse the addict in me hated being alone the man in me wanted a pretty face to wake up to it was hard late nights and early mornings alone wears on a brother i sought solace in marijuana and a slew of random women not loving any of them not really wanting to be with any of them but it beat being lonely so he's just expressing a typical hallmark of you know being toxic is you're free to be alone and i guess in this case for both individuals you're free to be alone and the end was this very horrendous death so i'll say men and i say an extension women hey there are spaces on youtube where you can hear your grievances for to get seek help for your toxicity for yourself and also how to get out of toxic relationships there's other avenues such as therapy you can also go to church see god and so on and so forth you know what i'm saying you don't need to go to drugs and anything like that but there are things there are avenues you can go to and you know if anyone wants to talk and themselves feel like hey i need to talk to you about this cool i'm here for you but that's my two cents guys i hope that you know men overall you learn that you know toxicity get out of it it doesn't work <laughs> work on yourself first be a better um you know level up you know work on yourself mentally emotionally physically otherwise so that in the next relationship that you do enter to you are more than capable to handle the rigors of it well that's my two cents guys please like share comment and subscribe all to them <laughs>